Hi students, exercise 26b, we are going to discuss from question 2 onwards. The marks of 7 students in an exam are given. So, how many data should be there? 7 data. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yes, you have to find the median. First of all, n is equal to 7. So, n is an odd number. So, when it is an odd number of data, then what should you do? You have to add 1, divide by 2. So, that data is only your middle data. So, it is 7 plus 1 divided by 2, which is 8 by 2. Or the fourth data is your median data. So, now I have to arrange everything in ascending order, the data given to me. How else that you can arrange? See, tens place, how many numbers you have? 17 and 19. So, I will arrange it as 17, comma 19. Then 20s, I have 24, 25 and 26. So, it is 24, 25, 26. 30s, you have one number 31 and in 40s, it is only one data. So, you can just ask, check for the numbers. How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7 data, we have arranged everything in ascending order. Now, the fourth data among them, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, which is the fourth data? Ma? 25 is the fourth data. So, the median for this set of number is nothing but 25. And the data is about the marks of students. So, it is 25 marks, which is the median value. Question number 3. The run scored by 11 members in a cricket team. See, the number of data is 11. N is equal to 11. It's an odd number. So, which data is the median data? N plus 1 divided by 2, which is 11 plus 1 by 2 or 12 by 2. What is it? Sixth data. So, sixth data is the median data. So, first of all, we have to arrange everything in ascending order. So, starting with singular digit, it is 0. Then, two digit numbers, we start with tens. So, how many tens we have? 15 is there. 13 and then that's it. So, it will be 13 and 15. 20 is how many we have? 29, 20 and 27. Three datas. So, minimum among them is 20 and then 27, 29 you can write. Then next set is in 30s. 30s how many numbers you have? 31 and 34. So, I will write 31 comma 34. Again in 40s. We have 43. There is no other 40s. So, we will write 43. Then 50s, we have 50 and 56. So, 50, 56. Let's check for the number of data. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, we have got all the 11 data. So, which is the median data? The sixth data. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 29 is the sixth data. So, what is the median? Ma? Median is 29. And the data is nothing but the runs scored by cricket people. So, it is 29 runs which is the median value. Always write the units as well. Question number 4. The weights in kg of 8 children are given. See here n is equal to 8. It is an even number. So, what is that you have to find? You have to find n by 2 which is 8 by 2. Or the fourth data. And also you have to find the next data. N by 2 plus 1. That is 8 by 2 plus 1. That is 4 plus 1. Which is fifth data. And these two data. You have to add and divide by 2. That is find the average. In order to get your median value. So how is it we can proceed with this? First of all as usual. We have to arrange them in ascending order. So it is having some decimal places as well. So we have to consider that also. Uh, is there any singular numbers? No. Here we start with tens. So, 10.6 is there. Uh, any other thing in 10? No. Any other least data? No. So, I will start with 10.6. Then 11. Is there any 11 data? No. 12 data? Yes. Here we have 12.7. So, it is 12.7. And then 13? Yes. 13.4 we have. Any other 13 data? No. 14? 14.3 we have. 14.3. 15? Yes. We have 15 here. Then 16? 16.5 is there. 
there is nothing else so 16.5 and 17 yes here we have 17.2 but see I have written everything and I have left out one data so somewhere I have missed out on 9.8 without noticing see this missing data once we tick mark or circle or something we can easily find out so 9.8 has been missing again I can put 9.8 over here so what is it? This is my first data, 10.6 is my second data likewise. Let me count the number of datas. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 datas are there. n is equal to 8. So we have got all the 8 datas arranged in ascending order. Now we have to find the 4th data and 5th data. Which is the 4th data? This is data number 1. This is data number 2. This is 3 and this is 4. So the fourth data is 13.4. So median is nothing but equal to fourth data plus fifth data divided by 2. Which is the fourth data? 13.4 plus fifth data 14.3. You have to add and then divide by 2. What is that we have after the decimal here? 4 and 3. I can add 4 and 3. It is 7. Again 3 plus 4. It will be a 7 here. 1 plus 1, 2. So the sum is 27.7. You have to divide by 2. So the median value comes out to be when you divide by 2, it is 1 and then 3 times. Then it will be a 17 over here. So it is 0.8 times. Then 5, that will be done. So the median is what? 13.85. And the data is the weights of students in kg. So it is 13.85 kg is the median value. Question number 5. The heights in centimeter of 9 girls. The number of data is how many is it ma? It is 9. So n in the question is 9. 9 is an odd number. So what is it? n plus 1 divided by 2 which is 9 plus 1 by 2. 10 by 2. So which data? Fifth data is my median data. So how is that I should have to proceed? Arrange everything in ascending order. See here you have decimals as well. So you have to think about it. What is the range of numbers? Everything starts from 140 something. Right. So 141. Is there any data like that? No. 142? No. 43? Yes. 143.7. Is there any other 143? No. So it is 143.7. Same way we have to arrange everything. 144, yes, 144.2. 145, yes, 145. 146, yes, 146.5 is there. Is there any other 146? No. So 146.5. Next data, 147. Here we have a 147. So it is 147.3. 148, here it is. 148.5. 149, 149.6, 150, yes, here it is 150 and last data is 152 point. So all the datas I have underlined means I have brought everything here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So totally 9 datas I have here. So which is the median? Median is nothing but the fifth data. Which is the fifth data? 1, 2, 3, 4 and this is the fifth data. So median is 147.3 and the data is given as height in centimeter. So you will write the unit as centimeter. So the median for this set of data is what? 147.3 in centimeter. So these are the number of problems that we have discussed here. And the last thing mode which is not discussed in your textbook. It is just that you have to think about the frequently occurring data if in case they give you in the question. So the set of data if there are some set n number of data out of that which data is occurring repeatedly that data gives you the mode part. So if at all any MCQs are asked in that way you have to think about the number of times a given data occurs again and again and that data becomes your mode. Thank you, ma'am.